happened is we're recording. For once. Oh, my God. Look at us. <laughs> it's been... What the fuck was that? <laughs> like, what was that? That no, came out I'm to just spirit? saying, we... Uh, people been fussing me out, and I don't like that. About not recording. Yeah. Like, where the episode at? I'm like, we on the road. Okay, we'll drive and record at the same time. Press the buttons and shit. Listen, we, we trying to do big things out here. Nah, we didn't do big things. We didn't it's do not, shit. That's why not. we didn't have an episode. We wasn't we doing shit. Chilling. And we was like, we not going to do shit for a week. Yeah, we've been chilling way too hard. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, we're mad sorry. But mad we are, sorry. We, this, we're in a hotel right now. Yeah. That is As what you can happening. tell, the background's different if you're looking on YouTube. So, yeah. 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 How you feeling? I'm okay. I'm cool. We we here. We in Dania Beach. Is it Dan, Dania Point, Dania Beach? Is either Dania or Dania? I think it's... D- Dania? I don't know. I, I think somebody told us how to say it. And, and I forgot. I forgot. I too. forgot. Definitely. Okay, great. Like, usually if you've come to a live show, then we always announce what city we're at. And today I was like, I probably need to ask somebody before I announce what city we're in. Yeah, that's fine. We can yeah. ask. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm chilling. We just... What did we do in these last couple of weeks? Wait, we're not there yet. You didn't ask me that. Yeah, not at all. No. We, we all just, right, so what, what do I say here? We, it's only been a week. I know, but we what, just what shooting do the I, shit right what, now. What, what, we just shoot in the shit. That's what the shit is being shot. So I don't say nothing. Shit shot. I don't talk about my week at all. Not at all. I will ask you that, and oh. then you can tell me about your all week. All right, cool. And you can probably tell me about two weeks since we've been gone. Okay. But when we get there, okay. Like I had a song in my head too. No, that's all right. And you ruined it. Okay, no, I you, you I think I saved all of us. Honestly, hit a song? I think my I saved. I think I saved. Love. Why? Why is that? Why? Do you Why are you thinking about Candy ever? Rain? I don't. Is that Candy? Is that Candy Rain? Dream. Why are you thinking about that? I don't know, Candy. Baby, you don't have to do it. You start Hold the episode it. like that, and now we've already gotten into the episode. Rain drops. All right, I don't want okay, to I'm down. Thank and you. we got Alex in the background so, doing all the choreography. Oh my Wilding. god! If you've seen us on tour, you probably seen Alex Babbitt. Yes, and he is and he's here. probably doing the same thing when he does. I was about stage. to say yeah. he's doing exact same. Yeah, thing. it's exactly <laughs> what he does. Exactly what he does, man. Um, oh my god Alright thanks to Dipsy No no we're not there yet I'm either. not I'm not there No Babe you can't stop me In the middle of a of Why a not re- You can't stop me In the middle of one I can stop that shit It stopped You see I don't know what else To talk about I, Nothing I was literally Going to start the show Alright go ahead It's J-Rod Chris and Seville And then we have Sex and Podcast The fastest growing podcast In Perry Sound Ontario Canada I had to make sure you said it right before I beep, 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 beep. I was gonna do that. <laughs> is that a place? Is it just Ontario? Like I don't know, but okay. Hey y'all in Canada. So it was crazy because when I was writing it down, I was like, okay, Perry Sound is, I guess, the city. They might not have cities in Canada. I don't know. Um, and then I was like, Ontario is the uh what is those things called? Is it a province? I think it starts with it. Providence, maybe. Province. Province. Providence is the name of my home church. You're right. Um, so it's a province, I think, or is it like a county? No, it's province. Why are you asking me? Uh, You're right. And then, uh, Canada. And I was like, that's crazy. When you in Canada, you got to write all three names of the place that you at. Then I was like, no, you don't. Like we in America, we only say the city and the state. And that's probably what they do. They probably just say Perry Sound, Ontario. That was what was in my mind when I was writing it down. You ain't got to look at me like that. Fuck you. It's a wild breakdown. I don't care about it at all. <laughs> but I'm excited. I think this is the first time having someone out the country or having top listeners out the country, man. Yeah, that's them probably saying if we listen, maybe they'll come to yeah, Canada. Hell yeah. So, like, you know, shout Chris out to y'all, passport. man. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. Uh, now you can do it. Thanks to Dipsy for supporting. And then we had sex. Dipsy is an audio app full of short, sexy stories. If you're looking to light a spark or heat things up, there's a story waiting for you. Get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash A-T-W-H-S. Also, thanks to ZocDoc for supporting And Then We Had Sex. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. Go to ZocDoc.com slash A-T-W-H-S and download the ZocDoc app to sign up for free and book a top-rated doctor. What the fuck are you laughing at? First of all, you cursed way too quick. Um, Sorry, guys. Uh, so when you take when you go to school for radio, do they teach you how to sound like a newscaster too? Like, is it the same type of like lessons? No. Why? Okay. 
it just you sound very it's a very different voice from when you were just doing regular talking. <laughs> it is it's just oh um, you sound like you're like reading a children's book. Like Zop Zop. Do you wanna know why? I can tell you why. I didn't know that was a reason, but There's okay, reason. that's great. Um, when I first started doing radio uh, with commercial spots, I had to read them, and I was terrible at reading commercial spots. So um, <clears throat> they they said that I should go read children's books out loud. And wait, you really read? It was really children's books. Yeah, like was I wasn't books. playing. Yeah, no. So thank you. Which books did you read? I don't remember. You don't remember? No. Was it Doctor Seuss? Or no, like, I, you know what? I don't like Dr. Seuss books. Why? You don't fuck with Dr. Seuss? I do not like Dr. Seuss. Why? What's wrong? You don't... I don't know. They're so basic. Like, they rhyme everything and... Yeah, that nigga's a lyricist. What are you talking about? He's a lyricist? Yeah. The fuck? You like, you like Jay-Z, right? Yo, you are not going to compare hey, Jay-Z right. and Dr. All Doc... right. Okay. You like Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I think Cameron and Dr. Seuss are the same nigga, for real. Maybe. Maybe. You going to tell me it's not? For real? Dipsy doodle. Doodle dipsy. Yeah, yeah. They and they just be doing shit that don't make sense. You're right. You're yeah. right. But yeah, I'm not into them. I'm I'm into more like uh African American children's books. Oh. You know. And I was at Cameron. A- <laughs> <laughs> well, I just Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Are you more a Jewels nigga? Like what are you talking about? Jewels. Yeah. What Jay, are you what Jay are you used to have a um a sketch that we did uh, on the radio. Jay used to have a great Jewels yeah. uh, in Cameron. Yeah, his Jewels, uh, but it was uh, Jewels nursery rhymes or something like that. I don't know nothing, but you yeah. asking me like I was. We on did the that radio. on the radio, man. It was it was so funny, man. It was stupid. Um, how was your week? I don't know, man. That's crazy. I wasn't ready. Um, fuck. I thought I was. See, look. So it's last been two weeks, hold you on. can just pull from Usually, any memory you I'm have. Very not prepared to do this and today i was like i'm gonna come in because i had two weeks and i still what did we do we went to we went, well you can start with the week before we got on tour so what did, what did we do then nothing right I we got know. a house how long we been going did we talk about the house we didn't talk about the house we got a house <laughs> <laughs> we did we I are mean, no longer homeless hey, that deserves hey, applause hey, I think you see you're not even hitting a good horns. You don't know what you're doing out No, I'm sorry. I didn't do the you want horns too. No, I don't want them. Still. No, I got horns. You got horns too, but that you didn't hear the horns. Okay. You but don't. definitely heard the applause. So maybe yeah. you heard the horns. We whatever. have well, I mean, you know, it ain't I'm not it's it's a house. You know what I mean? But we have a place to stay. Um, I mean, we've always had a place to stay. Yeah, don't get it twisted. But now this place we can actually pay rent. <laughs> Niggas do we've feel sorry for rent. us. Okay. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're paying rent because we're trying to buy later. It's a lot. It's a whole thing. Um, everybody ain't got to come out and just buy. The market is trash right yeah. now. So, yeah, definitely. Um, be realistic, but we have a place. So. We have a place. Super excited about that. Yeah, we went through a lot of things where people did not believe we made the money we made, which was crazy. Yes. Um, uh, but, I mean... And they're not saying that it's like a crazy amounts of money, but I maybe we just don't look like we have a... A decent amount of money to take care of our four children. I don't know. One young old white lady. Oh right, well, go ahead. Yeah, call her out. Said that I was a drug dealer, basically. Yeah. She didn't believe any of my paperwork. She yeah. drove past different places that I placed up there. She went to the Better Business Bureau. She did everything. Looking up businesses. And when everything came back legit. She still didn't believe me. And it was like, I just don't understand how you make this much money. And literally said in the email, and I think we may have talked about this or not. And she was like, well, you do speak very well. Yeah. And, and that, that's the one I was about to go find her ass. But you know what's so crazy about that? What? Because on one hand, it's like, yo, that's mad racist. How you going to say I speak very well? But on the other hand, it's a compliment. It's like, also, I do thank speak you. well. Also, yeah, thank you. Yes. Yeah. I did go to Feels class good. for this. Yeah. I read I children's books and everything. Before hey, calm I, down. Wait, before I talk to you. I studied on Dr. Seuss before I could talk to this white lady. Um, and now to you, white lady. Yeah, yeah. But um, so we got, yeah, we have that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I did absolutely nothing. Um, I just waited. My Our babies kept losing teeth. They Our twins lost the same two teeth in the exact same spot in each mouth. Does, yes. Is that how you say it? I think. So, I was trying to catch it too. No, yeah, so like in the mouth, they got the same hole in their face, in their teeth. Safe space. 
I don't know. You make it sound like we feed them garbage it all sounds, day. It sounds kind of crazy. Falling out. But yeah, so that happened, and then we went to Cleveland, and we had what fun. happened in Cleveland? What happened in Cleveland? Nothing. 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 We had a good. Yeah, I don't remember anything. In, I don't remember. But we went to Cleveland, then we went mm-hmm. to Detroit, and everything was happening in Detroit. What happened in Detroit? It was mad shit going on in Detroit. It was the oh the Grand Prix. The Grand Prix was in. Yeah. The, I mean, first of all, wait. Cleveland show was great. Yes. Let's throw that out there. Yes. Cleveland, the show was great. great the energy show. was great. We yeah. had a good time. Yeah. Um, we loved meeting y'all. We sat and talked with a couple people even after the show. Hell like that yeah. was it was yeah. Had like a threesome. It, it was amazing, Cleveland. So things did happen in yeah. Cleveland? Okay. So no, because he definitely just said nothing happened in Cleveland. Look at Alice's face. He clutches pearls. <laughs> I don't, y'all can't see that. Um, but and then Detroit uh was the Grand Prix. Yeah. Um, some other shit. Uh, it was pride down there too, but I think like this weekend was like way too much shit. Like we yeah. almost, yeah, but it was stuff everywhere. Um, but Detroit still turned out. Yeah. Had an amazing freaking time. Detroit refuses to get out my top five and I appreciate y'all for that because the energy is always amazing in no, Detroit. No facts, facts. Um, so yeah, we had, we had a good time. We walked around, went to the Grand Prix thing to, they had some food. Uh, went to Sloppy Joe's, went to Sir Gale. I, I, it was S-E-R-G-E-I-L. I can't remember the name of it, but the food was good. Um, yeah, but we we had a good time. We had It was cool. Nah, it was dope. It was dope. Yo, Cleveland, I'm going to say this, and I told this to the audience when we were there. Um, y'all have the best asses. Cleveland? In America. Or Detroit. Detroit, you was right. Yeah. It was, I'm sorry, Cleveland, y'all don't. Um, Cleveland, no, y'all, but, y'all had asses. No, don't, hey, don't do that. Now, I didn't see as many, though. In Detroit, you couldn't walk uh, uh, a couple of blocks without seeing an ass that you've never seen before. Well, baby, I, hopefully you didn't see any of those asses before. Was, no, I'm just saying, like, you'd be like, wow, that <laughs> circumference is no, crazy. Oh, the shape of the ass. Oh, my god! I thought you meant, like, it was a familiar ass. Like, I have hit that ass before. No, <laughs> I have smacked that ass before. That ass is so no, familiar. I, I didn't smack none of the asses in Detroit okay. that weren't mine. I smacked your ass a couple. Oh, of just times. one. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. you just said it like you just yeah. had mad asses. I wanted there. to smack a couple. Okay, but, but that would be such a harassment. That, and that I am is not a lot. We are not doing any yeah. of this. It's okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but it was cool. It was also like events going on in the hotel we were in. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And we, I think we met a listener there. Like it was mm-hmm. all kinds of shit going on. Detroit so. was popping, man. And yeah. it's, it feels like every time we go to Detroit, it's a good time. It's something new happens. Yeah. yeah. So shout out to y'all. Um, and then we flew to, well, this is your week. We so. flew straight here, right? To, yeah. to Dangy Beach. Mm-hmm. We're in, they said it's not Miami. Don't call it Miami. So <laughs> <laughs> they almost got me for that. But we in Dangy, Dangy Beach. We have a show tonight. Um, by the time you listen to this, I think, yeah, like we'll have a, we'll have a show tonight. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to Tampa and Orlando. Well, but technically by the time you're listening to this, we have a show tonight we'll in, in Tampa. In Tampa. Yes. Um, but yeah, so we're just... We've just been chilling. We've been eating food. The food's been good. Mad good. Everywhere that we've been. And we've just been chilling, for real. Yeah. So, nothing crazy. What about you? Um, My week has... Well, my two weeks have been crazy. Um, Like you said, we got the place. And that brought on a new type of anxiety. No, not that you need any more, boy. Yeah, exactly. But Stack them up. Calm down. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it brought on this crazy anxiety. I was like, yo, I have to like pay more bills and now like we we've, we've been doing just podcasting stuff now mm-hmm. for what almost 2 years yeah like that has been only source of income only source of income things that come from the podcast um but we've been homeless for 2 years i've been doing some stand up though yeah yeah but we've been homeless for 2 years yeah that yeah there's that, there's that. right so technically Every month, even though we've been paying rent with uh, who we're staying with and all that, um, every month it doesn't have that pressure because mm-hmm. it's like, yo, you know, we ain't got the like, place ain't gonna go nowhere, right? Ain't no rent late. to pay this, that, and the third, you know, bills. But now it's like you back in it. We are back into bill land. One thing I will say though, because we were in bill land before, we mm-hmm. were. I was working like two, three jobs. Yeah, we were doing things. I was working. Mm-hmm. I was 
selling stuff. I was doing all kinds of <laughs> selling pussy. I was selling, <laughs> I was selling cookies. <laughs> nah, we weren't gonna make a lot of money off of that. Oh but. well, what the fuck? Cookies. We might have been let homeless a little shorter the period of time if I was selling pussy. Let me ask you a question. Yes. What kind of house could we get if I was selling pussy? A condo. High rise, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Don't turn around to me. No, I was just gonna ask. What? If we needed it, would you put that pussy out there? If we needed it, we were know. going to be homeless. I mean, it just depends on they how lavish us, you're trying to live. You know what I'm saying? They gave us an eviction note. I just want to say in my same place. If you place, don't want to be too fancy, then I got to keep this pussy to myself. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be in an already furnished high rise, then I got to put the pussy on the platter? What? Display? What? <laughs> Craigslist? Do they buy pussy off Craigslist still? eBay. Bid. Bid. I got bidding pussy. <laughs> Yo. You hate me so much. <laughs> you don't want to live good. Oh my gosh. But no. Why so, you keep laughing though? For real. I didn't think about that. Why are you laughing so hard? It's such no, a hard laugh. Like, why is it so loud? No, I, you know what? Nothing. I believe in you. And I believe in the gifts that you have been given by God. So why you ain't asked me to go out and work for the family? Why you ain't asked me that? Would I do that? Yes, yes, yes you you're would. Right. You would. You're right. I would. If you throw felt all like it dick. was as good as I know it <laughs> yeah, could <I> mean, be, <laughs> for, when the kids ask for five dollars for school, but like you know what, I gotta go get that dick away, man. I would do it. I would do it just you think for that. You get five dollars for your dick? Yeah. You don't think I would get five dollars for my dick? No. Yeah, you can get five dollars. Yeah. What's like the highest amount you would pay for my dick? What's the? What are we paying for? Like, what's the thing? Um, stroking. Uh, stroking. If I just wanted you to come fuck me? Yeah. For like how long? 30 minutes. If I just wanted you to come fuck me for 30 yeah. minutes, yeah. how much would I pay? Yeah. I and I have, want a tip at the end, so you got to... That's crazy. You're not sure. supposed to ask for a tip, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> if, I knew, it's if I read your reviews and it was like, this nigga asked for a tip no, afterwards, no, then... It's, it's gratuity, Dick. No, no. You don't put gratuity on yeah, Dick. Yeah, you do. Okay. Gratuitous. Okay. Yeah. Am I counting the... Uh, am I counting that? Are you counting what? Ooh, I just felt dizzy out of nowhere. You okay? Uh, I think so. All right. Uh, am I counting that? Are you counting the money? The tip? Yeah, you got to put that all in one. Hey, I need a second. Um, you, you okay? Yes. I think you I'm back? Okay. I think I'm okay. You know what happened, right? You thought about how much my dick would cost, and you was like, oh, I need a minute. You didn't got that much. I get it. I get it. I'm expensive. That was so cute how you just did that. I'm expensive, You were baby. so excited to do that. What? Because usually if I'd have taken a break, no matter how much I probably would have died, you would have had attitude. <laughs> but you were like, nah, I got a comeback this time. I ain't never had a comeback this good. No. No, listen. It's all good. Like, I don't... I mean, you, your health is, is numero uno. Yeah. I don't know what that was. Okay. Yeah. I'm cool. You I'm cool? cool? Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Well, I'll finish my week. I don't want to make it weird. No, okay. that's all good. Yeah, um, but like I was saying... um, Basically, now that we have to depend on just the podcast to be our only source of income for real bills, it's very stressful. It's super stressful because I'm like, what happens if people just stop listening? What happens if people don't want to see us anymore? What happens if, you know, we get canceled or something? Gotta like find new things to do. Yeah, I don't know anything else to do. Well, this, I can always do stand up. I can't. But if you want to get out there and, you know, do stand up for yeah. us. Yeah. I, I'm down I, with that. I'll be funny. I'll I'll be I'll be a house husband. No. Well no, we gotta find something for you to do. I don't I don't appreciate that. I don't want that to happen to you at all. I want you to do something else. Okay. I don't think it should be that. I think it should be something else. <laughs> <laughs> God, no. Um, but yeah, so that that was part of my week getting into place. Um traveling has been dope. Uh and yeah, it... It's been a really dope week. The only bad part is that we haven't been able to see the kids. Like, honestly. Yeah, I miss my babies a lot. Yeah, that's I miss, the I miss only big part. kids. I miss babies. Um, uh, our daughter is doing, like, her last week of her performing arts school is this week, and then they have, like, a week or something of mm -hmm. regular school. But I miss my kids. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. I want to get to the point where we can bring kids on the road during the summer. You don't want to do that. Mm. Like, you legit don't want to do that. No, that ass. Like, I want to be able to bring our kids on the road during the summer. Like, I think it'll be good for them to travel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. okay. and when we start going to other countries with the podcast, 
Like, it'll be dope, like, during the summer to go there and show the kids different countries. You were saying you were speaking to somebody this week, and they were uh, they were bringing their kids somewhere out the country. Your, your home girl. Yeah, she wants her daughter to see more of the world, and that makes a lot of sense, and I would like that to happen as well. Yeah, man, like, because your parents didn't do that for you. No. I don't, even, <laughs> I don't even think my mom has a passport, if we're being completely honest. Now, I do not think that that is a thing that yeah, she has. Yeah, I, I know my mother doesn't have a passport, Yeah, n- nor does my father. Like, Yeah, I don't think that that's something yeah. that they... But I think back then, I though, mean, my dad... I, Think about that. Well, he probably well, he had, had to have a have. He had yeah, to have he a was passport. In the military, yeah, but, you don't think it's renewed though? Nah, I don't think he took the time to do that. Okay, he, he didn't want to leave to nowhere besides where we are in Alabama, <laughs> Virginia and Alabama. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere else. Um, confession of the week. <sighs> You've had two weeks. Confess anything? Mm, no, I don't want to do that. So you have one, you just don't want it. No, I have a. I, I, no, it's a safe space. No, I've already talked to you. I don't want to do that one. That's the only confession I have. I don't really have a confession of the week. Do you want to rehash it? Do you no, wanna... I don't. No, I don't have a confession. She be holding out on y'all, bro. No, but because I'm, I, I would also be confessing to you. But I've already discussed with you. I've already talked to you. You'd so, be confessing to me. I, yeah, confession of the week would be something you ain't never heard of. This is true. And you've, are, I've already talked to you. No, this is true. So, ah, uh, no, I don't know. I don't really have one. Hmm. I don't really have anything worth confessing, honestly. Like I had something I talked to you about, but I thought it would be what good. About fucking other people. Oh, God. Oh, there, well, there it is. Okay. Yeah. My confession of the week we is... We talked about... I think we've talked about this on the podcast before. No. Not this. Okay, go ahead. My confession of the week is... You're in my face. Okay. I am. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All in my face. All right. Um, <clears throat> I am okay being swinger Jace. That's fun. Okay. But I'm not okay with fucking somebody else when you're not in the room for a long period of time. There. Look at Alex. He doesn't know what has been going on. <laughs> <laughs> like so like what, a complete what? solo session. I'm I'm it's it's weird. It's weird? It's weird. How so? Um it feels like I'm doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. It feels like I'm doing something wrong. Like when it's everybody, you know, there. Mm-hmm. Or like we start, I start off and then you come in like, ooh, what's going on here? You know, things like that. that <laughs> that's fun for me. Yeah, that that's dope. Like <laughs> <laughs> what did I walk into? <laughs> what is that? Like that's cool. But when I'm by myself, it's like <laughs> I'm searching. <laughs> <laughs> is that a dick out? <laughs> No. <laughs> but when I'm by myself, it's like searching for... Well, let's be clear. You're not by yourself like you went somewhere by yourself. Yeah, like yeah. you're... We're all in the same vicinity. Vicinity, yeah. But still, like... Nah, son. It feels weird. It feels weird. Like, I, I... I like swinging for the fun and novelty of it. Mm-hmm. And just solo deals feels like the fun and novelty is not in it anymore. But stop saying solo like you go into somebody's house. No, no, I'm no. <laughs> like no, I'm not I'll leaving. Be saying, back. I'll be back later just going to no, get some pussy. Yeah, it's not. No, nothing like that. It's not, nothing it's, like it's that. Not but you same. know like yeah. I I want it to be around of, you know, like activity. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so anything else feels weird. Like Oh, well. Wow. It feels mad weird. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's good to know, like, well, well you, you going to leave me before you cheat on me. <laughs> I would think. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. I, and it's so weird for me because, like, I was the cheater. That was me. So you, like, love me so much. You don't even want to do that. That's so crazy. I ain't never as, been loved like that. As nasty as that sounds, yes. And if you've never been loved like that, that lets me know how I got in so easily. Oh. <laughs> well, I didn't know you was gonna love me like that. I thought you was gonna love me the way that a cheater would love the mother me. niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah I but I didn't know that you. Oh, okay. no, that ass, like well, that's great. Yeah, man. I mean, it's not gr- you know what I mean. No, I get it. I get it. But I mean, I I get it, and it's not like if I 
tell you to do that. Like I want you to do that. No, and it's and it's cool, but I just nah, I'm cool. Why didn't you say I don't want to do that? Um Do you want to explain the situation? Because it makes more we sense. We can explain that the way. situation on Patreon. Okay, we'll explain on Patreon. We'll explain the situation on all Patreon. All right, we'll explain the situation on Patreon. Yeah. Um Sheesh. but yeah, yeah. All in all, I just know I like the I like the fun that we have and I like to keep it to the fun that we have normally. Oh, okay. Yeah. No even though <laughs> Maybe this is a Patreon conversation too. Patreon's gonna be dope this uh this week. Is it? Because I don't know what you're about to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm a t- remember I told you I walked in yesterday and I had a fear. Oh, okay. Well yeah. then there's there's that. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that on Patreon for sure. <laughs> my my biggest fear. Yo, today. I'm so scared. <laughs> That's funny. That oh, is okay. Let's go into the question of the day. What's the question uh, of the question day? of the day. What's something you judge people for until you tried it yourself? Um, until I tried it myself. Uh, sheesh, you go first. I think I need a second. Okay, something that I tried. Wait, something that I judge people for until I tried it myself. Um, eating ass. <laughs> eating ass. It's the way he's. Yeah, eating ass. Like you I, said it again, like a children's book author. <laughs> <laughs> eating ass. <laughs> no, like legit. I thought eating ass I would never do. I was like, pussy's good enough for me. And now I got to be like, hey, don't eat my ass. Yeah, like she literally screamed that the other day. I see that yesterday. He was yeah. sitting behind me and I was like, hey, don't don't you eat my ass back there while you're there. Yeah. Why? No, Why but, you don't want me to eat your... Don't no, you eat my ass. No, no. Lay so, on the pillow. No, because she... I told her to... <laughs> because you always want to make sexy moments when you get alone time with your, with your spouse. And we were laying on the bed, and she went to go do something. I was like, now nah, I want you to bend over and do it. And I turned she- around and said, hey, don't eat my ass back there. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, I would have. I would have if you didn't make that, uh, that yeah, I, it might have chomp chomp. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's hilarious. It's so stupid. But you always tell me not to eat your ass. Why you want me to eat your ass? I don't want to. So, well, that ain't my shit. <laughs> that was good, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, what's something I um okay, this is not nasty. Okay. Um uh, eating potato salad. You used to judge people for eating potato hey, yo, salad. I was like, that shit looks stupid. <laughs> potato salad look <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> potato salad look dumb as hell. It looked like it just looked like some shit somebody just threw together for real. Like it's just yellow. <laughs> and there's chunky, it's not always yellow. Sometimes smooth. it's creamy, like cream color. No, that's what you get from like the store. Oh no, I, you gotta put no, some yellow. Sometimes you put a yellow. lot of yolk in it. No, I was like, this shit look dumb. Just eggs and potatoes, and then whatever this mash shit y'all got on top is stupid. And then I had some uh, for the first time at thirty. Wait, the first time you tasted potato salad was 30? Yeah, she looks stupid. Nick, I met you at 29. So when I, I first met you, you had never had potato salad. No. That shit is well, you're wild. Not, you wasn't going to fuck me because I ain't had potato salad? I might have thought about it. Really? Like she hasn't experienced enough in this world. Oh, but for real, if we on the other side, you ever had ambrosia salad? I would never eat that. Why? See? Why? Because it looked nasty. Disgusting. Same way potato salad look, but that shit kind of delicious a little bit. No. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> like, it looks real dumb. That shit kind of delicious. It looks stupid as hell. That's it's, the Jello one, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. No, it's not Jello. It's like whipped cream and shit. Yeah, and Jello in it, right? No, I think that's the other one. I think. I don't think it's Jello. I don't eat none of that bullshit. Yeah, but because it looks stupid, but that yeah. shit delicious. I am so ashamed of you. Really? You eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> that shit look nasty too. And is it delicious? Like, why are you eating it? You ain't never thought about that? I judged everybody. I was like, yo, it's a bowl of just yellow, like, it's eggs and it's, this shit dumb as hell. 
Wow. I didn't eat eggs really until I was pregnant with Kaden. So really? I was like 20 because I craved eggs. Really? I used to eat them. I was like, these are nasty. And then I craved them and I've been eating them ever since. So, so I really a, wasn't fussing with Were you a picky eater when you was a kid? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I've always liked food, but there were just certain shit I didn't fuck with. I've talked about this before. I'm not really a watermelon person. That's, not for real. Like, and I don't understand it because watermelon is so basic. It's basic. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't, it's, it's fruit. It, it, it don't have enough character for me. <sighs> I want I want a little tang on the back of my throat. I want some, <laughs> I want some some raspberries and some. I want some shit like that with a little wow. punch. I want some I confident do, ass berries. Watermelon not watermelon doesn't feel confident to me for real, for real. It's like oh I taste like this. You know what I mean? Not like bitch. I'm a lemon. I taste like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this is a burst of flavor. I don't want that. No. That's why I'm like, I don't really fuck with honeydew melon for real. That shit's stupid. Now nah, I'm with you on that. I don't do that. I don't do cantaloupe. I do cantaloupe though. I throw a little salt on cantaloupe. No, fuck that. No. I don't why do I have to add to a fruit? I just started putting tahini on mango for real. That shit punched me in the throat. I like that shit. I like that aggressive ass fruit. Oh, nigga. You hear me? Is the fruit fucking you? I don't know. Maybe. Come on. You wanna put some tahini on your dick? No, it's gonna fuck my pH up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I want, yeah, I don't, it's boring. Watermelon's boring to me. Wow. But yeah, I, I get think. That. But also, I think the only potato salad I'll eat is my mom's. Okay, hers That's is fair. really good. That's fair. I like it a lot. That's so, fair. I don't know. All right, what is? Um, let's see what everybody else said. Uh, what's something you judge people for before you did it yourself? Hold on, these <laughs> these little uh, hotel cushions are stupid. Um. <laughs> Somebody said holding the mic like Bob Barker. Hey, hey, Shannon. Nope. I'm calling you out, Shannon. Nah, because now I'm going to do it. And I think I think it's all right. <laughs> I think I like it a little bit. I think it shows my nails off in the video. Um, somebody said being bi. Hey, I'm hooked. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Nipple piercings. Uh, I still don't think I can do it. I remember when Janet Jackson showed, she didn't show hers, but she talked about them on Oprah. That like sticks do, out in my mind. Please do not pierce your nipples. I don't want that. Okay, because it... I like sucking titties and nipple piercings just mess up the experience for me. I wonder if you pierce your nipples and if you have them pierced, like, I want to, I really want to know this is a real does question. Does the milk squirt out like, if you're pregnant? No, that's not oh. what I was going to say. Oh, that's crazy. Like, a, like in four ways. Yeah, it does. Like a sprinkler? I like, mean, I've never seen it in real life, like, but I don't think it makes sense. Like, that would be crazy. No, I want to know if, like, I had a belly button piercing, right? Mm -hmm. And then after I had, um, after I got pregnant, I took it out. And it doesn't, it doesn't sag like it's nasty looking, but it's a, like a little hole. Like, it's weird. So I wonder if you take your nipple piercings out, if your nipple looks like that. Mm, I don't know. Like, if it looks like. I know somebody with nipple piercings we can ask. You know, you know how when you, um. So, you know, on drawstrings, like on coats, when you press, it's like a little thing. You press it and it opens it up so you can pull the drawstring up, like a little silver thing that's yeah, on the coat. Yeah. Like, you know how when you press it, it's like a hole in the middle? Yeah. I wonder if nipples look like that when you take the. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think if you put a gauge in your nipple, maybe. Oh, you think people put gauges in their nipples? They might. Okay. Well, you know, to each his own and shit. Uh, what's something that you judge people for until you tried it yourself? Therapy. That's what's up. That's a good one. That's what's up, That's man. That's good, yeah. What's something that you judge people for until you tried it yourself? Biracial men can't get enough. What? A. You judge people for having biracial men? I guess, man. That's wild. I, but can't get enough. Are, like, biracial men different? I don't I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Oh, you? so you never dated a biracial? I didn't say that. I'm just saying I didn't really look and say, let me compare somebody with one race to somebody with two. Okay. Or three. I didn't ever think about that. Oh, okay. So I don't know. What kind of mix did you like? <sighs> That's crazy that you asked me a question <laughs> no, like that. <laughs> I didn't like a specific mix, but I did date somebody who was black and Mexican. Oh, that was your shit? I mean, he was, he was my shit. It wasn't the race. It was, I don't fetishize niggas. What's wrong with you? My bad. I ain't. Listen. Whatever. I'm just asking. Uh, what's something you judge for people for uh, before you tried it? Um, going out to eat alone, it's not that bad and it's way cheaper. Hey, come on. Come way on. Way cheaper. Hey, hey. Because like... Glory to God. <sighs> what? 
You know what's so crazy? No. I realize that when I go and get something to eat for myself, mm -hmm. I barely spend any money. But when I go to eat with you, at any time of day. I be I love food so much. It's just so much. I love food. Food is so good. It's so much. Um, somebody said medium steak. I was raised that well done was the only way. And your teeth probably horrible too. That's probably why. Y'all, well done steak is not steak. What is it? That shit, I don't know. That shit is not, it's not real. Y'all gotta stop. And I'm saying that with Alex in here because I know he liked that shit. <laughs> it's not real steak. Um <laughs> Uh, before <laughs> oh yeah you are vegetarian but well done steak is not steak well done fish ain't uh, it's all right um no i hate well done fish um wait whoa 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 this one's crazy hold on what's something that you judge other people for until you try to get yourself heroin <laughs> <laughs> loved it loved it but i'm nine years sober so no longer judging <laughs> So they Yo. not judging heroin addicts no more. No, that shit good as hell. Yo, that's what? funny. That's, <laughs> that's funny. Crazy. That's funny. That's funny. Be like, you do your thing, player. Do your thing. <laughs> hey, you shoot up. Matter of fact, you want me to hold your arm? Let me see it. <laughs> ah. uh, what's that's not funny, but it is. Okay. <laughs> um, what's something that you used to judge people for until you tried it yourself? <laughs> Anal. Hmm, we're going to talk about anal later today. Are we? I didn't know we were. Yeah. Um, uh, wait, here's one. This is controversial, but I'm going to read it. No, mm -hmm. go back up. Oh, my bad. Putting my kid on a leash at a theme park. Almost lost him at the beach and was the worst moment of my life. And Yo, hey, that sounds crazy, but... No, don't you... You would never put my child on a leash. I would think about it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know will if you... You never, ever You ever been around them babies? Yes. We ain't you never going... You would not going, put my child on a leash. We ain't never going to a theme park or nothing, because they can't be in a stroller but so long. But they no. can be on a leash for life. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, we don't have pets. Are you sure? Leashes are for pets. Well, yeah, but also, them babies wander a lot. Yeah, let them wander. If they get lost, it wasn't meant for us to have them. That's why God gave us two with the same there face. There you go. Look at that. Look, you see, but you don't need a leash. You got to stop. We're not supposed to agree on that at all. That's <laughs> fucked up. You got you to gotta chill out. All right, what's something that you judge other people for until you did it yourself? Going to the movie solo. You okay. want to speak on that? Because that's you. Uh, Hold on one second. Okay. What are you doing? What happened? I don't know. Something came up that wasn't supposed to. Um, Calling your man daddy. Now I call mine papa, spanking and choking, swallowing, having multiple baby daddies. All right. God first damn. of all, I, I can't call you daddy because I already have two and I can't see myself. Add another one yeah, at your I age. Have, have I get it. My biological father. Have, I can't. It's just not. Daddy, daddy, I don't want to be called daddy though. Thank you, Zaddy. I call That's you daddy better. when I'm. What I call, I'm like daddy when I'm calling you for the kids. Sometimes, yeah. No, I'm. And I'm. I'm good I'll with be that. Like, daddy, like, come here. That doesn't he bother wants me. You. That doesn't bother yeah. me. But being called daddy, that's never been like a fetish of mine. Yeah, spanking and choking, swallowing. I used to judge people for swallowing. Really? Um, you ain't been swallowing your whole life. What? No, you just do it so well. Nigga, I just ate potato it's salad like at 30. I ate wild. potato salad at 30. You think I'm just out here just... Look, 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 look. You think I'm doing that? Yeah. Why? You do it like... Baby. Hmm? All right, that's enough of you. <laughs> um, what's something that you judge other people for before you did it yourself? Um, Polyamory. Po po polygamy, polygamy and open relationships. And open relationships. Okay. Okay, I get that. Um... Fried Oreos, they are amazing. Why are y'all judging niggas that love fun? That is no, so fun. No, I judge people until I had a fried Oreo too. It's delicious. You ain't never had no shit yeah, like that in your life. Yeah, it, it's that different. shit is delicious. It's different. Fuck out of here. I don't know what's wrong with them. Nah, uh, I like this one. Uh, what's something that you judge people for before you did it yourself? Listening to podcasts now, look at me listening to y'all every week. Oh, I fuck with you. Appreciate you. I wasn't a big podcast person either. Um, until you met me. Until, yeah, until I yeah. met you. Honestly. Honestly, because I I hear people talk about podcasts and I didn't really understand it. But I, I had I've been in podcasts now for almost over ten years, really. Yeah, like I've it, and it's so crazy because I used to be such a avid music fan, like, and that's what I thought that I couldn't 
I could not listen to podcasts because I was so addicted to music. Right. And then I found myself listening to podcasts all day and not enough not music. music. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's the only thing that I kind of I don't want to say regret, but I, you know, I think about it often like, damn, I miss out on so much music because I'm listening to podcasts. Yeah. Like, I won't listen to my favorite artist's album, but I will listen to a podcast with my favorite artist on it. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, this is a good one. <laughs> What's something that you judge people for uh, before you tried it yourself? Golden showers. I used to side eye people and now I love them. Yeah, it's still not my shit. Still can't you ain't get ever tried it. it though. Don't I'm cool. Except for when that. I peed on your toes. I'm cool on that. In the shower? Yeah. yeah. It was in the shower and I didn't know nothing about it. We discussed that shit. Yeah. Stop bringing it up. Don't do that. <laughs> I just want you to know that if it didn't bother you there, it might not bother you in other no, places. No, I know. I, I know it did. I know it will. We can start with doing it in the shower. It bothered me then. I don't want that. Nah, like, no, I'm cool on that. Don't I saw what you just keep and trying to talk about it, and I'm I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I can't judge y'all though, because I know. I mean, people love it. You know, it's cool. <clears throat> um, sex toys. That's that's a good one because a lot of people are shy about sex toys. I feel like I don't need no sex toys, and it's not about that. It's about enhancing or adding to. Yeah. So. Um. This one somebody brought uh put in and I can't read it. You I but I I know the gist of it. Um, basically she said threesomes. She had a threesome with a couple and then she had, no, not threesomes, having sex with married men. She said she had a threesome with a couple and then she had sex on her own with the guy and now the guy won't leave her alone. Yeah. And you, but you still want that. You know what I mean? Cause it's like something that you judged people for, but now, maybe. oh, okay, so you judged people for, but you did it, but it's yeah. not saying that you You don't love judge it. people for doing it anymore. Yeah, because yeah. the guy won't leave her alone. It's yeah. like, okay, well, yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's why you gotta, you have to pick and choose and be very careful with those kind of things. That's Hell the only yeah. thing. Um, you know what that is? I don't know what that is, and I don't know if I want to read it, okay. because I don't know what that means. All right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Something I judged people for uh, before I did it myself. Uh huh. White women. Yeah. That's hilarious. That is funny. <laughs> that is funny. And I'm not going to front. I did the same thing. Oh my god. I did the same. Th I was like, how dare you not sleep with one of our queens? And then I did it. I was like, hey, hey, dairy's okay. You just called her milk. That's crazy. Just, hey, yo, don't feel disrespected. This nigga don't know what he say half the time. <laughs> God, just call him. Uh, well, I don't know. Do you like milk if black people call chocolate? Like, is that a compliment or is it an insult? I think it's, it's listen, I enjoyed it. So it was a compliment to me. I'm glad you had fun. All right. Um, <laughs> hold on. Uh... Eating lamb. I love lamb. Yeah, I was like that too. I didn't want to eat lamb. <laughs> Here go them. one. Here go one. What's something you judge other people for before you did it yourself? Wearing ugly ass hokas. They feel good <laughs> enough to be ugly. That's Yo, your that's, yeah. I love hokas. Yeah. I love You didn't hokas. at first. You didn't at first. Yeah. That gal started flaring up and they was like, put them it hokas on. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, um, but do you put them shoes on? You was like, I can't even get out of these shoes. They're so comfortable. And you wear them all the time. I want some now, to be honest with you. Nah, they the shit. I, I gotta want get some. some new ones. Though. Yeah. You get older, you really don't start to care and be like, oh, but look at the rest of my shoes, though. You can say that now. <laughs> nah, you know. This you can say that before. This is how I knew I was really into Hoka's. Um, because, you know, I have all of my boxes from my mm -hmm. sneakers. And I took my Hoka box and I put it right with them. Like, oh, I was like, you you, had it you're on. part of the family. That's so cute. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, what's something that uh, you judge other people for um, <laughs> doing before? <laughs> wait a minute. What? What's something that you judge people for before you did it yourself? Shooting my shot at y'all. Who is this? Somebody did that. <laughs> did they shoot? I don't remember you, ma'am. I don't remember that. At shoot all. the shot again. Just jump Baby, in the DM. You gotta stop. No, I'm just saying. I want to know. Who, no. I just want to know who's shooting. Okay, I'm over it. I'm over it. Try to make sure the game is. Um, you know. What is something that you judged um, other people for before you did it yourself? Staying with a cheater. Yeah. Yeah. You did that. Man, did I do that? Um, yeah, I did that. But I did it because. 
I mean, there's no good reason. You can honestly, whatever. I mean, your reason is your yeah. reason because people can be forgiven for that. But I, my reason in my head was because we had a child. I get that. And I, I get that. Like, I don't. Oh. I don't think that cheating is the end or be all of a relationship. Wait, what? We have kids. I just. I just want to point out, it wasn't you? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I don't think that cheating is the end or be all to a relationship. You if you feel like that. you can still make something of it, and you feel like you can go back to trusting that person. Mm-hmm. Then fuck it, man. Um, somebody said pineapple on pizza. Still, That's fast. I still haven't had that. It's good. Still haven't had it. Still it's don't know how to taste. Really good. I would try. Maybe I don't know. Um, ki- somebody said having kids. Now I'm three deep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, finally, what's something that you judge the person for doing until you did it yourself? Sucking toes. Yeah. So, do you really like me sucking your toes? Yes. It's or not no? my favorite thing, though. I don't like stepping in wet socks. We've talked about this. But it's not stepping in wet socks. It's kind of like mouth. the same thing. Because when your mouth leaves, then now it's slob all between my toes and it should feel nasty. So if I cleaned it up, you wouldn't have a problem with it? I don't know. Like yet. you don't have any sensation from it? I don't know. Because you're so ticklish. That, like, that's my thing. Like, you are mad ticklish. I am very ticklish. So in my mind, I said, oh, she'll like me licking anything. Because she has nerve endings everywhere. But you realize the nerve endings when you're ticklish is not the same. I'm not horny when I'm ticklish. I'm literally, I, I'm literally ticklish. I cannot breathe. I, I, I need you to go. <laughs> like it's not like, oh my god, I love this so much. No, I literally am the most ticklish person in the world. There are some positions that we've done, and you will keep doing them, and I see that you enjoy them, and I be inside going, <laughs> yo. <laughs> so you be laughing at me while we fucking. Nah, myself together because I was like if I start laughing and I ruin this mood he is going to be so pissed <laughs> he is going to be it, it's like little stuff you do or you caress me somewhere and I'll be like <clears throat> yo why are you such a child B I don't I don't I didn't do that to my skin my skin is just like that <laughs> I'll be in there holding it in like I'm about to shit on myself I'm about to laugh so much <laughs> please move or I'll try to roll over and move you to a different position like maybe if you go here it won't tickle as much Woo! Lighten me up. You hear me? Okay. Um, tour dates. If y'all don't know, we are on tour. Hopefully, y'all do know, and y'all get these tickets. Um, while we're recording right now, we're in Daniel Beach, but that's not up here. So June eighth, Tampa Improv T- tonight. Tonight. Well, tonight when this goes up, we'll be at the Tampa Improv. Tickets are still on sale. June eleventh. Hey, hey, on my. It's my own hair. Don't worry about it. Not from like my pussy. Not from my braids. Um, June 11th, <laughs> Orlando Improv, July 1st, New York at the City Winery. All these tickets are on sale now. July 6th, Tacoma, Washington at the Super Funny Comedy Club. July 8th, two shows in Atlanta at the City Winery. I think it's what, 7 and 9.30, I believe. Um, that 7 o'clock show, the early show is almost gone. So that 9.30 show needs a little work so it's tickets left for those um july 15th dallas texas at the texas theater there's hella tickets left for that show yeah VIP i thought y'all sold wanted out, us though. to be there yeah vip is sold out for that though i believe well, don't tell them that i think so maybe it's them. not i think that's a lie i didn't I, what am i saying shut up um july 28th <laughs> this is the second time around at chicago at the city winery those tickets are going pretty fast too um, August 6th, Houston at the Houston Improv. Mad tickets left for that. And y'all been asking us to go to Houston for about two years. Um, August 10th, Washington, D.C., D.C. Improv. Super excited about that. Usually we're at the Comedy Loft. This time we're at the D.C. Improv. So get those tickets. August 18th, second time around at Phil- at the Philly City Winery. Tickets are on sale August 20th, Nashville at Zany's. Here's a couple of new dates. I believe they're on sale now. They might not be. They might be a lot. But if you're listening, um, I'm going to tell you all these. Uh, we also have yeah, some more. Well, you forgot to put one up there. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. It's not on sale. The, I don't think these are on sale. The the um, Do you see this goes from this month to this month? I know, but you, remember you forgot the, the M one. No, that's not in this month. Oh, we're just putting in this month. Okay. These are four new dates in September. September 7th, Columbus, Ohio at the Funny Bone. September 13th, Syracuse at the Funny Bone. September 14th, 
Hartford, Connecticut at the Funny Bone, September 21st, Baltimore at the Baltimore Comedy Factory. Yes, and uh, you can check to see if those tickets are on sale. If they are, they will be in the link in our bio or on our website. Look how we announce them. We don't even know if they're on sale Well, no, yet. if it, we'll, we'll, we'll check it. Um, but go go to our website, and then we have sex.com for it. Get all your tickets. Um, and if they are on sale, you're listening to this, it'll be up there on the website. So yeah. you can count on that. Yes, 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 yes. Um, let's take a moment to check in with ourselves. How would you rate your relationship with yourself daily or lately? Whether you're feeling confident and want to explore your innermost desires further or could use a little boost in self-love, Dipsy's sexy audio stories are here to help. Dipsy is an app full of short, sexy stories, hundreds of sexy audio stories designed by women for women. They bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and realistic characters. Dis- discover stories about second chance romances, adventurous vacation flings, and hot and heavy hookups. New content is released every week, so in between listening to your favorite stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. For listeners of this show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash A-T-W-H-S. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash A-T-W-H-S. That's dipsystories.com slash A-T-W-H-S. Yes. Um, you're trying to find a cause for your symptoms and you stumble down a TikTok rabbit hole full of questionable advice from so-called experts. That sounds like you. Yeah, it sounds like that me. That sounds like you That's a lot. That's how I diagnose there. myself. <laughs> um, there are better ways to get the answers you want and the care you deserve from trusted professionals and not random people on the internet. ZocDoc helps you find expert doctors and medical professionals that specialize in the care you need and deliver the type of experience you want. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. Whether you... Whether you're not feeling uh, feeling your best and just need to hold it together, finding great care shouldn't take up all your energy. That's where ZocDoc comes in. Using their free app there's, that millions of users rely on, you can find the right doctor that meets your needs and fits your schedule. Book an appointment with a few taps in their app and start feeling better faster with ZocDoc. Go to ZocDoc.com slash ATWHS and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z O C. D-O-C dot com slash A-T-W-H-S. ZocDoc dot com slash A-T-W-H-S. Hey! Yeah, so um, got a couple of topics up in here, man. You know, not 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 nothing crazy. Uh, now, I thought this was crazy. I thought this was beautiful. A 123-year-old virgin still hopes, still holding out hope that she will one day find a man. I wonder if... Her messages blew the fuck up after this. After this was posted all over the world, somebody was like, I, I should just go over there and give her some dick. I wonder if somebody in the village been watching her for 50 years and was like, I got this dick I've been trying to give her. Was he one when he was watching her? I don't know. He could be. I don't know. What? Like, I could never give a 123-year-old dick. But and if she passes like that, you know, I hope she doesn't. She's lived a long life. Yeah, but she's going to die. Maybe that's the way that she wants to go. Even though, if I fuck the death out of you, psh, nigga, do you know I'm putting that on my Facebook? Oh, you gonna be all oh, out in the, my what? Twitter? <laughs> my Twitter bio is gonna read that. You know what I mean? What? Podcaster, <laughs> Dick Slayer, literally Slayer, Slayer, ooh, killing them. That's crazy. That's a lot to live up them. to. I mean, I kill you sometimes. Okay. No, I'm just saying that's a lot. And I bring you back to life. Okay. Um, With the dick. All right. Well, I I just think that's a lot to live up to. She don't care about me. If I'm married to a man that's a dick slayer, like, I got to, you know, get... It's like Buffy. Is is it Buffy? It's a little Buffy. It's it's, it's Buff. (laughs) It's something. I mean, I, I hope that she... I hope that something happens. I mean, that's a lot of dedication. I be, You know what I mean? Mm. Only thing is, the first time you have sex, like, do you... Like, do you get a new hymen after 100? I was about to say, like, is it dust? Is it a thick-ass hymen? Yeah, that... Like, is it crazy thick? I don't is know. it closed up? 
Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Like a tree with rings. Is it rings around the, the hymen? <laughs> rings around the hymen? <laughs> yeah, with the tree, you can see the rings and you know how old it is. <laughs> I hate Alex. Oh, we can never man. record Alex in here again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, no, that's wild though. Like, I wonder why she stayed a virgin. Probably won't know niggas out there that was worth that pussy. That's in weird to say. In years? Can't even, you can't even say pussy at 123. In 1900? You couldn't find now. She, she, she is not the cutest. But that's, but hey, you cannot say that. You can't say that She's about beautiful for 123. You don't know what 123. You don't know what the fuck does that sound you like. You don't know what 123 is supposed to look like. You <laughs> You ever seen 123? All right. So how about for 80? She ain't the best. She's not 80. You right, but you she You know look, how long ago that was? No, 40 she years good. ago. She looks good for her age and at 80 crazy? she was 80 was 40 years ago. That's right math, right? And at, well, if that's how she looked now. Imagine. Baby, you got to stop judging people. Because you don't... But that's... Maybe that's not who you would give dick to, but somebody will give her dick. And that's fine. Nobody's going to give... It's been 123 years. But uh, now it's like... Now it's announced to the city. Like I said, maybe <laughs> maybe the they village. all thought she had been fucking. <laughs> maybe they was like, she been... That, it, like, if she would have just asked me if I'd have known this. Now, is that means she ain't fucking, but is she sucking? Was she sucking? But she didn't say all that. She, she might have been sucking. Yeah. I get that. I, I knew some Catholic Maybe, girls. Is it beautiful? Is it like a? Oh, she grew up in a household where it was taboo to talk to boys. She listened to the teaching of her culture so much that her family even began finding men for her to marry once she became of age. She says she never had feelings for any any of the men and just wanted to be alone. Wow. Wait. Oh, see, her strong fear of men was um rooted was rooted in her childhood teachings, um, and that kept her from engaging with men. Hold on. Uh. Um, you you what are you going too fast? My bad. She says she's ready for love and is not giving up hope. If a man shows up, I'll be willing to entertain the options. She also adds that she refuses to give up until she finds a good man willing to spend his time with her. Now, now that I'm reading this, come on, Queen, because what? Well, nobody ever worth it. Nobody was ever worth getting that. Yeah, but no. nah, 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 nah. Keep your standards to the day you die. You hear me? Yes, queen. See, that's the that's what's the matter with y'all. This this should be a goddamn PSA for all you women that say, oh, "I'm waiting for the right man." No, you're gonna be alone, and that's fine. You're she gonna wanted, die. She said she wanted to live alone, and she's not dead. She's still out here waiting for her man. God you don't know. Damn. Yes. <laughs> Wait, please grab a mic. Oh, is that hooked up? Yeah, it's hooked. Oh, up. Oh yeah. Hold on, hold on. You gotta turn the mic on. There's also that. Quick okay. question. Okay. Just, just side question. She says she's waiting for a man to spend her time. She ain't got that much time left. I know, but we don't know that. She probably didn't think she was going to make it to 123. Well, you probably what? hit 100 and say, I'm not going to have 20 well, years, and now she got him. What is she bringing to the table at 120 some years? Um, I think you could go on the Guinness Book for fucking the oldest person in the world. Oh, you immediately, oh. you immediately get a trophy? Oh. Come on. Oh, that's she, got a tie. Oh, that's fire. I ain't never got a trophy. <laughs> I didn't even think pushy. about that. Look oh, at his shit. face. Look at his face. <laughs> you get a, what if you get a medal? <laughs> a medal of honor? Yeah. Your name is ingrained in history as the man that unvirgin. That's what they call her pussy history? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your name has been ingrained in history. <laughs> that's what I'm talking God about. damn. See? No, that's See? great. No, you know what? Uh, G- good luck to her. Good luck to her. Even though, even though, any way you look at it, she's robbing the cradle. Like, it's... But like, it's no more, baby. There ain't no cradles. You got to stop. It, well, you got to stop. She's so you just finding the all these reasons. If she was a man, would nobody care? Here we go. Here we go. Here, here we go to the... That's real, right? If she was a man, nobody would care? Nobody, what? What are you talking about? Whatever. Hugh Hefner, how old was he when he passed? 90 something, 100, something like that? Damn. Close. Damn. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Well, that's what's up. Nah, queen. Keep your standards. Fuck your standards. Shit. That's what got you in the first. <laughs> got you with the shit you in right now. No, <laughs> no. Nobody was worth it. Don't just be giving it to somebody just to say that you I lost my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> like the Catholic girls, right? Yeah. Why yeah. did I? Why did I almost answer that? I don't know, man. Look at her face. I don't know. Are you? Did you find it? Yeah, find her face. <laughs> she, she like Rafiki from The Lion King. Oh! <laughs> but that might be hundred and twenty-three. Yo, 
Die. You y'all would only wish that y'all would make it to what one twenty three as a virgin? No, I wouldn't. Nah, fuck that. It kill me now. Well, if you didn't know how sex was, damn, that's that. That's a good point. If you didn't once know you find how sex how was, how good dick is, yo. <laughs> Yo, she she's gonna, gonna cry. be so hurt. She's gonna cry. Oh, I cannot believe like, you're already living on borrowed time. Like you, you ain't gonna get no. Fun. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't flame her up. Don't flame her up. Keep your standards. And she said honestly, no, for real. She said that it was ingrained in her since she was little. Just the teachings that she had, basically, to stay away from it. Yeah, she. Gonna, I don't she think I read anything parents. about. I didn't read anything about her being. Abused. I didn't see that. I'm hoping that that's not the case. But they just kind of were like, "Yo, like stay away from them." Yeah, she was born in the 19 1900. She was born in 1900. We was born in the 1900s too. She was born in the 1800s. No, she was born in 1900. Oh no, 20th century. She was like the turn of the 20th century. She was born 1900. 1900. Yeah, she made it through slavery and all of that. No. That's what not, the what fuck? time is that? Where you what in? the fuck? Don't worry about that. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Public school, baby. Yo, I close though, but no. That's how that's how it sounds when uh my daughter be like, You was born in the nineteen hundreds? I'm like, what you think went on down there? <laughs> what you think we was doing? It wasn't that long ago. We wasn't waiting in the water yeah, back then. Yeah, it wasn't that long. It was it's all right. Oh, uh, you put this in here. Uh but it's a lot to read, so you got to... Oh, I'll read it, but I won't read the whole thing. Okay. Um, Sweden has declared sex as a sport, and the first ever sex competition is scheduled to take place um, early next week, on June 8th, it says. Oh, that's whenever, today. Whenever, no, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. No, today. We're recording today, so yeah. It's called the European Sex Championship, which will be happening under the guidance of the Swedish Sex Federation, which will be held. So, I put this in here because I thought it was... Um, it's a lot of judges... Um. Oh, I mean, it's a lot of things that they're judging them you off can of. Sit back. I can do that. I for want, you. No, I got it. It's fine. I've already started. Um, the list of the disciplines for sex, like the things that they're judging them on, are um, championship seduction, massage of various parts of the body, massage of erotic zones on the opponent's body, hmm. prelude. I guess that's foreplay, oral sex, penetration, endurance, appearance, pose, performance, creativity, and change of position. Endurance and the number of orgasms, artistic performance and exchange of postures, increased blood pressure and heart rate during competition, the most beautiful and difficult pose, and the most artistic communication. Wow. That's crazy. That's kind of dope. I mean, I understand because you need the endurance. It's it's kind of like your heart rate and all that stuff. Like you, I understand why it could be considered a sport. Um, And actually, I'm not mad at it because I think it is a sport. Like, endurance and all that stuff, but, like, beautiful change in position and all that shit, to me, is just, like, I know sex. And it's not as... (laughs) I know sex. It's not as beautiful. (laughs) Like, how do you smooth out a position and change... Like, how artistic... Are you even orgasming? Are you having fun? Are you, like, I got a plie when I come out this bitch? I think that... (laughs) If I'm doing a championship, then I'm not even thinking about getting a nut. But that, I'm but they about want you, they want you to do all of those things. I think that's just one. That's one part of the competition. I think you enter. It's like regular Olympics where if you running, that don't mean you playing basketball too. You know what I'm saying? You're just mm-hmm. entering the ones that you think you're best at. And I would probably be like, let me see, which one? Would I, I think I be it's best all at? of that, but I, it might <laughs> be all in one session. I don't no, know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, I would fail the uh, championship seduction because I can't seduce nobody. You would fail that too, baby. I, um, can, I, can, I can seduce. I, you can't seduce. I'm seductive. You are not. Yeah, I could do it if, uh, for real. Yes, I can. <laughs> I think you don't want me to be seductive. No, I, w- I would love you to be seductive. Nah, I can't play with you. You play too much. No, that's you. No, you play too much. I don't think it'll work. Pray, Lou, you would fail at that, though. I would, what, what, foreplay? You don't yeah. think I would kill that shit? No. It does it does it have a time limit on it? Oh, get the fuck out of here. I ate your pussy for at least 25 minutes yesterday. Oh, that shit was long. Yeah, time, huh? yeah, it was. My jaw knows the pain. Oh, you was in pain? It was cramping. Oh, for real? Hell yeah, because you kept saying, no, just like that. Just like that. And I'm trying to do it just like that. But you only did it for like that for like two seconds. Because my shit was hurting. All right, well, then that's why it took so long, because you didn't continue. Just like that means like that and nothing else. 
if you kept doing like that, it would have ended earlier. Why don't care? It would have like, ended sooner. I never, I never, you've never been sucking my dick and I was like, oh no, keep your mouth just like that. Like, I let you explore and have fun and do whatever you feel is going to get me there. And sometimes you do great shit that's going to get me there. And sometimes you do not so great shit that's like, hmm, I guess she feels like this is going to get me there. No, and I just let my, you do it. I'd be in pain yeah, Exactly. Yeah, but I don't, I, you, I think you want the end result to be... A nut. Yeah, I, I'm just like you know, I I mean I I I don't feel like I can. I've only done that a couple of times. So you so you're saying you don't suck my dick for me to get a nut? I don't think you want that. Sometimes. No, you don't. You don't want that. Sometimes. No, I think no, I think you would rather just be other places. I don't think you want it to be right there. Because I think in your mind, it's like, it's not acrobatic enough. I need to see a, a arch in the sky when it happens. I need to see, I want to see it land somewhere crazy. You know, it feels good to know it's hitting the back of your little throat. You know what I mean? My throat a little? A little bit. Oh, okay. Well, all right. yeah. well I, you for real? I thought you wanted to see it. I thought you wanted to be like one of them fountains. If I can hear it, man, it's if you had just a black good. light around your dick and then you shot out and the fountain and the stream was like purple, <laughs> you should get a black light on your dick. No. Or um LED strip. On my dick. That would be crazy. Underneath it, like you know how you put it behind TVs. <laughs> <laughs> it coming in the dark with just that strip. The it's only thing you see is a purple dick with the black light and then the stream. That should just be crazy. Over. It'd be like the last dragon. You know what I mean? Wow. When you got that glow. Oh. That's kind of crazy. You want to do that? No. You sure? I'm not doing this with you, though. No. Just a little strip of a black light on your dick, on the back of the dick, like on the bottom of the dick. On the shaft. And yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, like, you don't want to do that? No, not at all. All right. Why do you want me to do that? I think it would be crazy. That <laughs> showed up. up. I hate this nigga. <laughs> Oh, what if you put it like black light in between, like lined on the inside of your thighs? Nah, I do that. Right? I will do that. And then if you see it, that would be kind of crazy. I will do that. Yes. Wow. Like I feel like my dick would be more regal with that. With a glow, yeah. right? Hell yeah. What kind of color though? What color be glow? Gold. A gold glow? Hell yeah. It just a gold glow, just the glowing thighs Hell just yeah. out. And, and I'm then just the be like, dick. you ready? Don't say that. Why not? Okay, you can say that. Yeah, hell yeah. Tone. When your dick is glowing, you can say whatever you want. What music do you play in the background when your dick glow? When you got that glow. Wait, no. All right, all right. Nobody all right, all right. When you got that really? <laughs> the feeling. Uh, no, something else. Something else. That's the best song. You think it's the best song? <laughs> that is the only song you can do. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we don't have to try it. I'm going to go to Amazon and buy some black lights, some oh, LED man. strips. Um. Let's talk about uh uh got a shout out. B condoms B always condoms got the best always uh, got the best shit, man. Yeah, they um do. they said the eight hot locations to perform oral sex. Um Okay. Where where's like the best place you perform oral sex? Best place? Yeah. Uh, like you was like, yo, it's something about this atmosphere that got my mouth going crazy. Got my mouth loose as bitch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, never been nowhere crazy you never gave head in a weird place nah i mean yeah but not for but it never made me feel different okay just felt like i was sucking dick (laughs) (laughs) no matter the location it just felt like there was dick sucking going on not like i've gotten head in a laundromat and that shit felt like it was like other people there Mm, no 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 but other people could have walked broke in. in. What happened? No, so it wasn't the time of day where people was. Cl- what, no, what happened? It was, it was the time of day. Did they work? It there? was no. All right. It was one of those. You know how the um, damn, you probably don't. Well, you. It was a laundromat mm-hmm. that uh, was for a complex, mm-hmm. and you can walk in and out anytime. Yeah, you know. So I was getting head during the day, and yeah, mm. it was pretty. Did you great. specifically pick the time where you was like, nah. It was like she wanted to suck dick. And he's like, okay. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. She was a hoe with a block. I okay, was like, cool. I got to try this, man. Oh, cool, cool. Hell I, yeah. I get it. I get uh, it. So they say under the table. I've always wanted that. I've seen it on porns happen, but yeah. I ain't never been at another table where other people wasn't in the room. You know what I mean? 
Like I never been sitting at a table without other people sitting at the table. I think that makes it even hotter. No, I don't know about that. I'm, you don't a, I'm do cool. It? No, y'all not gonna disrespect Just me disappear? down there. Yeah, what if they feasting? If it's mad niggas at the table, <laughs> y'all not gonna disrespect me like that. No, nah, I'm cool. In a movie theater, we've I've all had that. In yeah, movie you've never given it to me. It was you. It wasn't me. You. I, I gave you head in the movie theater before, no, you baby. Didn't. Yes, I have. Uh, what movie? I don't know, but you don't I know have. The movie? No, uh, I'm too busy sucking dick. <laughs> this is a terrible episode. <laughs> In, In the, the kitchen. kitchen, that's happened before, and I did do that for you. Yes, okay. You're right. well, well, In I the car, told, I did that's that the first time you ever gave me head. In the car, all right. Um, in a public that. restroom. Um, I don't know if I'm down with that. I've never given head in a public restroom. No, I've had sex in a public restroom. You know, the family restrooms they extra big. There's a room. <sighs> It's room to fuck in there. You never did that? No. Why? I you don't thought you wanna... had a family to go in there? I no. <laughs> you can build a family in there. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? Back of a club. Mm, yes. Yes. I've given head in a club before. I just don't like when you say it sometimes. Well, I thought we was both talking to each other. I thought it was an open-ended conversation. No, it is. I'm just like saying. you say something, then I say something. <laughs> I've never gotten head in a club, oh. in the back of a club. Damn, it was cool. Um, An elevator. Nope. I would love that. Didn't, nope. What are we talking this about nigga that? nigga tried to stop so many elevators. I'm not. <laughs> I will not be trapped. No. No. This, no. This says start at the very top or bottom of the building and give yourself enough time to get the work done. Why are they? Elevator. Look, it says, what kind of abandoned a building are you in where you're the only one that can get all the way from the bottom to the top of the building? No. It says choose a slow elevator that gets little traffic. So, like a work elevator? No, like we can do it tonight. Baby, we are in a booked hotel that's a full. Yeah, it is full. This shit booked. full as hell. But that'll be dope though. No, it won't. I'm not doing Won't that. Won't we do it in the middle of the night? I bet you I'm not doing that. My balance isn't good to like hurry up and hop up when somebody come in. Even I, better. I'm not good at that. I'm going to fall. Ah, she okay? I'm just going to turn around. Mouth's going to be juicy. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I got things to do. No. Nope. In the shower. I've done yeah, that. that. I've yeah. done that. Yeah, and man. that's it. Okay, cool. Those are cool places yeah. to give head. Yeah, man. Um, Let's talk about things that have nothing to do with sex. Unless you want to cover this or... No, I'm cool. This I'm or... I'm cool on that. Okay. Nah. Uh, things that have nothing to do with sex. Let's start with my man, Al Pacino. <laughs> my man. <laughs> oh, the page ain't available no more. Damn. Well, Al Pacino old ass having another baby with like a 23-year-old or something like that. Okay, and you don't see the problem with that because you said, my man. Do you understand how different that is from your response earlier to the young lady that was trying to wait to fuck when she found the right man? <laughs> he ain't waiting to fuck. He already fucked. Okay, but she Obviously. 123 and you don't see no problem? Okay, okay. The only problem with this is that he's not given enough time to be with the child unless he lives to 123. 123. And that's and Bam. that's something. And I think Al Pacino could do that. Yeah, to be man. With you. Al Pacino, the man. Yeah. But who's my girl that's like 99 or something like that? There's a couple of them that's out here. Rita Moreno. Rita Moreno. That's who I'm talking about. Jane Fonda's. Uh, she, uh, all of them, all of them out here living their lives. You hear me? Oh, yeah. Looking amazing. I uh, got a shout out to The Weeknd for having The Idol being the number one most popular TV series. Okay. I kind of want to watch it. We haven't it. watched it. I don't know why you give him that shout out. It's not like he's going to hear it. <laughs> we haven't watched it. You don't know if he listens. <sighs> okay. Uh, Dr. Cornell West announces he's entering the 2024 presidential election. I just have a question. How many people are entering the presidential election? Because I've already seen at least 13. Yeah, mad people can enter. Like, as many people can enter as they want to. Yeah, my government teacher entered. Yeah, like you can't. <laughs> my government teacher. My government. She was my government teacher too. Oh, yeah, she she knew everybody. Yeah. It was her. Yeah, man. Yeah. The one I used to take out the contact and uh, Lick moisten it in her just eye. nasty. Yeah, man. You want that to be your president? Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> but no, you, as many people can enter as possible um, and they start weaning them off through the elections. Yeah, through the, yeah. I mean, I know how it works. Yeah, yeah. It's just a lot. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I, I, at this point, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know where I am with anything anymore. I just, there's so much shit going on. I just don't understand why people, like he's not, he, he's uh, entering under the people's party. And I don't understand why people enter like saying, I want to be president and you're not trying to be like a Democrat or a Republican. 
I like, mean, they I might be it. trying. I understand why. I, I don't, yeah, I don't understand if they're like, I really want to make change and you right. know that. You're not going like, win. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah. Um, Elon Musk's brain implant company, Neuralink, announces FDA approval for an inhuman clinical study. Okay. That's kind of dope. You can like read minds with Neuralink. Nigga, I, I don't want Elon putting nothing in my head. Why not? It's just a lot of shit going on. I don't I don't care about that. I'm not it, I'm not in the study. <laughs> I don't want to be who does it? Is it Gene Gray that reads minds? Who is it? You know Alex. <laughs> Am I right? Okay. It's Gene. I don't Gene Gray. Well, okay, I know. But see, they cause they kind of pair up sometimes, right? Is it some shit? No, um, they don't. Now I'm doing too much. Now <laughs> he said I get it wrong. The implant aims to cure various diseases or various conditions from obesity to autism, depression, and uh, schizophrenia to enable web browsing and telep- telepathy. So, I, I mean, I would definitely try. I mean, it's interesting. I want to see what they do, but I'm not going to do it. I get it. Are but you going to watch porn with your implant? Oh, can you watch porn with the implant? Am or- I going to watch porn with it? You got damn right. It says web browsing. What do you mean? Yeah. Like you just close your eyes and then you and watch bam, porn? Porn right there. That's kind of crazy. That's like though. better than like memories. That's actually kind of because uh, fucking me is not fun enough. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> no, you got to watch fucking in HD. <laughs> 40X fucking. Oh, shit. Porn, Porn in 40X? 40X? Yes. Yes. What did they squirt on you, though? Oh! oh! Yes. Oh, this nigga's buying yes. a movie theater. He's no. implanting what? a movie theater in the house. Hey. Oh, my God. They, you think they just sell the chair? Listen, if they don't, I'm gonna have to never mind. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have like some friends come over and shake the chair around. You could just throw water on me while I watch it. Some friends? <laughs> what kind of friends? Yeah, I got exactly. you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're shaking the shit out of you, my hell. That's kind of crazy. Porn in four DX. Um Japanese scientists claim lab grown babies could be a reality as soon as I don't have time for this shit. Yeah, I don't want the babies that I grew naturally. Why would I want lab grown babies? <laughs> The fuck? You don't want them babies? <laughs> no. You don't want you don't want them babies? I'ma tell them too. I'ma tell them. They gonna fuck you up. I'ma tell them too. Oh man. I'm the, I'm the new favorite now. <laughs> I'm the captain now. Um Instagram is reportedly preparing to introduce a new text based app to rival Twitter. Okay. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that. A lot of people, it's people that keep saying they want to get off Twitter Mm -hmm. because of the changes that have happened. Mm -hmm. But maybe with that, it will, they'll actually like get off Twitter. You know what I mean? Maybe. Because they've been saying that they've been wanting to do that and they have not, they, they, there's nothing else to go to. Yeah. Well, this is what I'll say. Anytime Instagram steals something, they make it better. So why wouldn't I try Instagram's Twitter? I mean, they do. They yeah, do. I, mean. I get it. I get it. Maybe, maybe. And then you won't have to have all them apps on your phone. You could just have one. Yeah, man. Shit, free up some of that space. Hell yeah. Um, condolences. We're going to condolences yeah. now. Um, okay. Rest in peace to Jackie O. Uh, we want to send all our love over there to DC Young Fly, our eighty five South family. Like. It's a really tragic situation. I don't want to get more into it. It's just, you know, just I, I just send prayers and love yeah. over there to them and yeah. to, uh, for strength. to the for babies, strength. the parents, yeah. like everything, like just for yeah. strength for them. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's tragic. Um, What are we watching? We saw Little Mermaid. <sighs> Under the motherfucking sea. That shit, listen, could nobody else play that role but her? Yeah. Like when I watched it, I said I knew why they stood behind that beautiful black woman because <laughs> as soon as she opened her mouth, I was like, "Oh, there it is." She <sighs> speaks like a Disney character. She does. She does, right? She really but the, does. The singing voice in itself is just like, "Yo, my god!" And she, she acted well. Like it was she's really a star. She is a star. Oh my god! She is. Like she's always. We always seen the star yeah. in her, but her being able to just solo out herself. Y'all and, were wondering why they were sticking behind her like this. Like why they were so gung ho about this. Well, and they were doing she, that because the money was already put into the movie. Like no, but he, they said she was the only, like the first one to audition. Oh, really? She was the first one, and as soon as she opened her mouth, they, they already knew. knew. I get it. Because as soon as she opened her mouth in the movie, I yeah. was like, wow. But also, 
No, that's no shade to Melissa McCarthy because she killed that shit too. No, no, they. Oh, I think she, everybody except for like King Titus or King. I wasn't really fucking with him. Yeah, yeah. nah. Everybody else was great. He wasn't my favorite. Um, King Nep is Nep. Nep- no, mm. King, Triton. Triton. There we go. Yeah, King Triton. He has a Triton. He wasn't yeah, my favorite. Um, but Melissa McCarthy. Oh my God, she killed that. It nah. was. She was so good. Nah, that's fact. Um, but I mean, everybody, everybody was cool, and they wrote. I'm not gonna get into. Uh, the crab. I don't feel like it. I'm not in the world. What's the matter with the crab? Yeah, people wasn't fucking with the crab. I mean, the accent was fake. It was kind of annoying, but I love David, so I just was like, I'm I gonna let it. it rock. And it's a, I don't care. It's a movie. I was entertained. It was cool. You know. I get it. I um, get it. So uh, was I watched Power Rangers. Nigga, did you watch I, it with me? Yeah, I did. Um, on Netflix. So disappointed. Oh my god. I have never seen something so bad. Did you fucking watch Power terrible. Rangers? Alex? Of course, y'all know I'm a fan. Wasn't it, made, it terrible? It made me so sad. It cringy. Like in the first. What five ten minutes? I was like, okay, five ten minutes. I was like, a bad storyline. Okay, cool. I'm gonna rock with it. It's Power Rangers, <laughs> and then I just kept watching. I was like, this shit is terrible. Really bad. It's low budget too. It was yes. for all, yeah. I haven't seen a show that low budget in that long. It's low budget. Like when it first came out, it was low budget. Like it looked yeah. the same. It didn't progress. Not at all. Uh, at all. Not at all. Well, they didn't have all of the cool Rangers anyway. So, but they said they didn't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. They probably saw the script. That shit was Everybody trash. Had an old face. That shit was no, trash. No, Zach, Zach didn't have an old face. Zach had an old face. He looked old, but he, he looked, looked good. He looked good for his age. Zach looked like a black dude raised around white people. Well, he might have. Yeah. Well, I don't know what Zach does. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want. Look at us calling him Zach. I don't know what that nigga did, yeah. but. His real name Jebediah is some bullshit. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. He been, he been around. He be everywhere. I be seeing him. He be everywhere. Nah, hell yeah. Yeah, like, he just be out be at out. parties yeah. and shit. He be everywhere. I mean, when you're Zach the Power Ranger. You just walk in. Yo. You're Zach. <laughs> Wait, you think he be getting hoes as the Black Ranger? Well, no. Okay. As, as the Black no, Ranger? No, not hoes. But he get drinks. He can get drinks. You know what I didn't yeah. like? And spoiler alert, but don't watch it. But I didn't like... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that they used the Yellow Ranger's death in it like in that. Real life. I yeah. didn't like that yeah. because she really died, yeah. and I thought that they and they were like she. I didn't really like that. That was just me, but I don't know. Damn. Um, we watched this at different times, but I think we both had the same sentiment. Oh, missing, it. missing. Yes, missing on Netflix. Was good. That Man. shit was really good. Man, Is that the one with what's her name? It was with. I don't know her name. It was with um, Nia Long. Nia, Nia Long, and okay. I forgot the young. The young, her daughter. I, I I know who the, her, her name. I forgot her name. But though. she's in so many things. She is such a great actress, man. And the way they put that shit together was so good. It's really good. It great. I saw it. it was great. It's yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to give away any of the movie, but whoever's idea it was to shoot the movie the way they did, it was dope. It was great. And going into it, like the first like 15, 20 minutes, I was like, this is going to get boring really quick. And then halfway through, he gonna text me talking about, uh, did you wanna watch this movie? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, cause I didn't know it was gonna be good. I, I just started watching it. I didn't know it was gonna be good. So I watched it on the plane, but that yeah. shit was great. Fucking great, man. Uh, we watched The Mother with Jennifer Lopez. That was really good. That was good. I yeah. liked it. That it was, was good. good. It's on Netflix. It. Yeah. Nah, it was good. It was, it was good. good. Jennifer I liked Lopez it. killed that shit. I she thought fine. it was really good. And I know people are going to talk shit about Jennifer just because of Jennifer Lopez. She's but sexy. It was a good movie, though. Yeah. It was a good... I didn't like... Okay. Was she sexy in People might have watched it. Yeah, she was sexy in it. People might have watched it, so I don't want to say nothing, but I... I I'll watch it. Something I was sad about. I didn't like something. Tell us. You know, Amari Hardwick's in it, too. Ghost. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ghost in it. Okay. But so something. don't tell... Yeah, I don't, don't want to tell that. y'all, but... Um, so I feel like every week I should watch one movie that makes me feel the way a man called Otto made me feel. Why? So you can So be... I can get my tears out, man. Like I thought you meant so you could just be a good person. No, fuck just that. Just remind you that people look could be good people. I don't want to be a what? Does that sound like me? A man called Otto was good. An amazing Tom Hanks is always movie. Tom Hanks. It's so weird watching him. He old. It's just weird watching him old. Because we just watched Big not that long ago. Again. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was good. Really good. I really appreciate it. And the um actress that was in, I I don't even know her name, but she was great. I loved her. Mm-hmm. Um, that played like the main, you know, the other co- she was great. Um yeah. this surprised me. This fucking surprised me. Queen Charlotte. We only started watching because everybody was talking about it and because we didn't have nothing else to watch. Right. Uh, that shit is amazing. That's my the shit. The girl that plays the lead is really good. 
She is really, really script good. It's really good. Well, Shonda Rhimes. Not, I mean, sometimes some shit just be happening. You like, all right, how do we get here? Right. But it was good. We we locked in. We got like no, two more episodes. I, left. I loved it. I it loved it. Um, and it's so funny because I didn't watch Bridgerton. I didn't. Either. I thought Brid- I tried to watch Bridgerton. I, yeah. Fell asleep. I started like seven it times. and I was not. And now I'm like, let me just go back and maybe I yeah, missed something. Now I kind of want to see Bridgerton. Maybe man. I'm not deep. Yeah. Um, um, and last night we watched Spider Man yeah, Two. Is, is it Spider Man Two, baby? Well, Spider Man into the uh, Spider Verse. Spider Verse. Yeah, Spider Verse. Yes. Spider Man Two. Fuck it. Um, the cartoon two. There yes, you go. Yes, we all saw it. You saw it too, Alex, right? Yeah, that shit was fun. Alex went in a full Spider Man suit. He did not go with us. <laughs> <laughs> he went. Wait, why, why, why'd you say it like that? No, that, that, that wouldn't be seen dead. I would. <laughs> I would have worn my. I got the the. Um, she would have worn the sneakers. I got the sneakers. Some cool shit. I was That's gonna do that. I got them. The too, you gotta relax. Yeah. I packed them. I packed yeah. mine. I should have worn them last night. I don't know why I didn't wear them. Yeah. Uh, that shit was incredible. It really was, and we seen it in 4DX. And I don't. Oh, it's stuff that I want to say, but I can't. Like don't I don't want to spoil it. it for nobody. But don't like, you ruin it. It a great story. I know. Great but, story. Great ah, ending. I hate like, talking about stuff because I want to talk about stuff, but you can't. Like. It just I came out. It was produced by the same people who made. Remember Soul? The that makes Jamie sense. Fox? Soul was great. Soul didn't get enough credit to Yo, me. I'm I a, love Soul. I'm keep it one hundred. Soul was not the greatest fucking film ever. It was just cool because it was black people and it was jazz and all that. No, Soul but was great. Soul I like Soul. Soul was good. Soul. I like Soul. Yo, Soul was good. It talked about the universe. Soul maybe, was good. Maybe you got to watch it again. No, it was good. I think it was a strong eighty. Out of what? A hundred. That's pretty good. I, I only got C's, so like that's <laughs> that is high class. That's that's graduate with honors for me. That's an A plus. Damn. Yeah, man. I liked it. I oh, fuck it. Spider Man stopped here. I like Spider Man. Oh, yeah, and we saw it on 4DX, which nobody told me about 4DX before we went in that bitch, and I didn't know we was gonna move, and it started moving, and I was like, wait a minute, and then I felt it was raining, and then it was raining inside, and I was like, nobody told me this. <laughs> you didn't say shit to me, and there was a woman that was sitting beside me. Her kid brought her, so she's in the seat, and every time it moves, she's just going, oh, 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 and she's like, are you okay? She was like, I'm good. I'm okay, honey. I'm okay. And there was a little kid in the front that she. That it was in a row in front of us, and she just kept looking at her. I'm just worried about this baby down there. <laughs> it was so cute. They were so sweet, but it was like really, God, man, that shit was good. Nah, that's that true. That shit was good. Uh, listener question. You can read it. Okay. Did you read it already? Yeah, I read it. Okay. <laughs> do, do you need to move? I can read it. Nah, if you I, need I got it. To. I got it. Okay. It's fucking fuck my eyes better than yours. Uh, <laughs> my current man knew my period was late. Oh, okay. All right. My current man knew my period was late and we took a test. It came back positive. I went to the doctor by myself to see if it was real and it was. I was I never told my man it was out it came out positive. I lied to him and said that we were good. I told my ex and I got the abortion. I never let my man, quote unquote, be there with me through that because I knew it wasn't his. And I felt bad, but it's like you were fucking around on me first. So I got back as revenge. And then the woman who he was going back and forth with was someone I was close to. When I ultimately asked him, did they have sex? He kept lying until I told him I had receipts and proof. She's hurt that he lied because she didn't know that we were dealing with each other. He It's a lot of things in here. He lied and said he wasn't dealing with anyone. So I confronted him finally and he admits it. He's now remorseful and extremely apologetic. I love this man, but I don't see how I can move past this disrespect and don't know if I ever should. He also hurt another woman and she didn't deserve that. Wait, so I'm very confused. So, mm-hmm. um, so he was fucking around on her. She was fucking around on him. And uh, she had who was she pregnant by? Does it say that? I don't know if it say maybe it was yeah, her. ex. OK. OK. Okay, I'm confused. What am I supposed to say? The, well, the question is basically, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she. I think she wants to know should she still deal with him or not. She is that the one who her man got her pregnant. No, well, her man didn't get her pregnant. Her ex did. Oh, when she cheated, she revenge cheated. Yeah. Oh, so she, but she's mad at him because he cheated. He was cheating. But too. she got pregnant because she cheated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But she got an abortion though. 
and didn't tell the main the guy main the main guy because you yeah. knew the baby wasn't his. Oh, okay. Right. It was a side dude. If you want to, if that's easier for you. Okay, but so uh, you can't just say, "Yeah, we both fucked up." I mean, you get you got pregnant and got an abortion. That's like way worse, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I, you know. What? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a draw four, if I'm be honest. With I, you. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. That's a wild card. She threw out a wild card. That's crazy. That's I'm, that's a little too complicated I'm a, for me. I'm gonna be honest. The fact that you went out there and you had sex and got pregnant by another dude lets me know that the your man your man hurt you so bad that you won't be able to give him your full trust and honesty within a relationship going forward um, because he's he's just done too much to you. Um, so if I was you, I wouldn't get back with him. Um, I would just let that relationship go by the wayside, man. It's a lot of things that's happening. I don't know how to answer that um, because, but you also got pregnant. <laughs> you were stuck on that, ain't Look, you? Cause I'm just, I don't, I mean, I, it feels like y'all both did dirt, and but he did it first. Yeah, uh, th- uh, yeah, that's what it feels like. But then it's also you can't move past his disrespect. But you got pregnant by somebody and yeah. had an abortion and didn't tell him. Yeah. So it looks like y'all both hiding stuff. So y'all just got to sit in a room and be like, "Look, this is what I did. This is what you did. Are we gonna do this or not?" Like, cause that's a lot. You can't. But can you can't you ever, put. Can I, she I feel like you can't. Him again? I feel like you can't put him through all that shit if you're not honest with him too. No, I get it. But can she ever trust him again? You can all, yo. You can always trust people. That's bullshit. Can he ever trust her? That's what. That's the thing. That's real. That's what I'm saying. Like I, she you, did a surprise abortion. Yeah. Like how you get the how how do you get the uh, gall? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like, how do you put it on him if you have the same issues and you didn't even tell him about the abortion? So that's something. It's like, I don't know if I can trust you, but this is something I'm also keeping from you. Do you tell him when you have that conversation or you still keep that from him? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. Like, I I don't know. That's a lot. I don't give advice. That is a lot. I don't give advice. There you go. You know, I don't, oh. I don't give a right. Alex, uh, Alex is on tour with us, as you know. He's usually our host. I feel really least. bad though because if we would have, if I'd have known Alex had a mic, he could have been a featuring Alex Babbitt. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and he could have spoken more. I, I didn't know you had a mic. <laughs> yeah, I was just watching. I, I know, <laughs> but still, we're gonna have to get you up here one day. Yeah, man. Because you do too much shit with us anyway. So Hell yeah! Let them know how to get in contact with you, man. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Y'all heard me chiming in from time to time. My name is Alex Babbitt. I love y'all. <laughs> you can check me on all social medias. That's Mr. That's M-R dot B-A-B-B-I-T-T. I love y'all so much. Talk to you soon. <laughs> yo. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, Why are you giving a quiet storm outro? Yeah, yeah. That's how my voicemail set up, too. <laughs> Am I, book, am I booking a comedian or an escort? Hey, hey, whatever you need me to be, baby, talk to me. Hey. You just got to fight my wife. But besides that, we good. <laughs> yeah, y'all, if y'all been on tour, y'all probably seen Alex Babbitt. Uh, but yeah, so we, yeah, so follow Alex. Um, buy these tickets for this tour. Yeah, man. Once again, you can go to andthenwehadsex.com to get all your tickets. Um, and don't forget that if we are coming to your city, that means that we want to see you. So bring your ass. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Uh, so let's go get ready for this show yes. that we have tonight. So. Yes, that's fun. That's fine. Right. So with that being said, and then we had sex and social Jew. Thanks for listening.